All right, I'd like to spend a little bit of time today talking about how we interpret the coefficient on a dummy variable in a regression. And we might take as our example the regression where we have test score as the outcome variable, and we have a dummy variable, let's call it small class dummy, as the explanatory variable. This dummy variable takes on values 0 or 1, takes on a value 1 if it is indeed a small class. So the small class dummy takes on value 0 or 1. It takes on values 1 if the student-teacher ratio is less than 20. It takes on value 0 if the student-teacher ratio is greater than 20. Now we interpret this estimated coefficient, uh, which here we just say is equal to 8. This estimated coefficient we interpret as the difference between the average test score of school districts that have small classes, where the small class dummy is equal to 1, and school districts where they don't have uh, small classes, uh, that is, the small class dummy is equal to 0. So 8 is the difference in the average test scores between the school districts that have small classes and the school districts that don't have small classes. So we can see from the coefficient that school districts with small classes on average, their test scores is eight, are 8 points higher. Um, that's the interpretation of the coefficient. Let's take a little bit uh, a closer look at our regression model. Here's our standard regression model, which says that the outcome y, i, for an individual or observation, is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 times xi plus epsilon i, where the epsilon i is the error term standing in for other factors or for measurement error. And our usual assumption is the expected uh, measurement error. The expected value of the error term conditional on the x's is equal to 0. So the expected value of the error term conditional on xi is equal to 0. That's our usual uh, assumption that we make in uh, OLS, basically saying that the other factors that aren't included in the regression are not systematically correlated with the included variable, which here is just one variable, xi. Now, if we have a dummy variable, we can rewrite this, uh, look exactly the same, just have di instead of uh, xi. And we'd have the same condition, the expected value of the error term, conditional on the dummy variable, uh, is equal to zero. So that would be our analogous uh, assumption. Now, we can take the expected value of our regression, as we do here, uh, conditional on the xi's, and what do we get? Beta 0 plus beta 1 times xi plus the expected value of the error term, uh, and that's, of course, equal to 0. So we see that the expected value of the outcome is beta 0 plus beta 1 times xi. Uh, for the dummy variable case, we do the same thing. Again, this is equal to 0 by assumption, so our expected value of the outcome is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 uh, di. And now we can ask, well, since di can only take on two values, we can calculate